For the three years that the Acoustasonic has been out, we've seen how people are playing these instruments and what they really want out of them. And we felt it would be a really good augmentation to the line to have a simplified version. Imagine you have your studio set up where you really have the 10 sounds and everything that you could want and find all of those in-betweens and everything. But then, in more of a live situation, you'd really want a clean burning guitar that's literally just acoustic, both, and electric. I would say that the Acoustasonic Player Telecaster is for every guitar player, it's a tool. It's a sonic paintbrush for people to use to create, and any way they choose to do so, this instrument offers more than most guitars. As the history has unfurled of the Acoustasonic platform and with this new model, we've really learned so much over the last three years and lessons learned and expertise gained that we're continually refining and dialing in the designs down to the infinitesimal level. On the Acoustasonic Player Telecaster, it's definitely designed to be a more everything you need, nothing you don't type model. So especially for playing live and if you're using effects, we wanted it to be really intuitive to get around on the guitar. So instead of a five-way switch with that blends knob, you have a three-way switch. So you get your acoustic sounds, your acoustic and electric blend, and then your electric. So it's very, very simple. You still have the blend knob where you have a universe of sounds within those three switch positions. And we're using nine volt batteries instead of the lithium ion battery. We're using rosewood instead of ebony on the necks and the bridges, but it's 100% still the recipe and everything that people love about the Acoustasonic series. <laughs> I was wondering, this is your first time playing the Acoustasonic Player Telecaster mm -hmm. and wanted to know what you thought of it. Um, I actually really love it. I have the Strat, the, the OG Strat, and I have the Jazzmaster, and I love those as well, and uh, love the three-way switching. With the other one, it is true, like, you know, going through the different five-way switches, that's more of a, um, like a sit with it, play around for eight hours. Dial in your yeah, sound which is fine tones. Exactly. Recording, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah, and I love to do that, but this is great for live because I'm just like, all right, I want to go electric. Boom, back here, you know? Yep. Or I want like a big acoustic or like a dreadnought up here. So I really appreciated the quickness of it. <laughs> is the, I, I obviously, the three-way switch yeah. versus the five, is the pickup basically the same pickup in this one and that one? Yes, the okay. pickup is basically the same. The uh, acoustic pickup is a different pickup okay. that we're using. The other thing that's different, uh, I was glad you brought that up, is there's a body sensing pickup okay. in the American Acoustasonic. So in position three, you can start to get those percussive, right. you know, where the top's resonating. Uh, this guitar does not have that just because it's, it's built to be three switch positions in the truth. You know, it's <laughs> yeah. supposed to be just super decluttered, decomplicated, and built really for live use and the ability to go from acoustic to electric to everything in between without really having to think and worry about moving to this position and then changing the knob, etc. Right. On previous Acoustasonic guitars that we've done, we found holy grail type instruments and we would sit there and try to copy the exact properties of those instruments. And I think now we're at the point where we're just finding great acoustic sounds and what is usable and what is optimal when it's played through an electric guitar amp or a PA or run direct into recording. So we really 
kind of let go of some of that baggage or the dogma of sticking to vintage guitars, etc., and really are just forging new territory sonically and finding the best sounds that we can. To come out with these guitars, we actually built a new factory that is exclusively building these instruments. And so we built that from the ground up with these guitars in mind. The build of these is different than that of an electric guitar. It's still got a thin top, it's bracing, there's everything that goes with that. All of the hand craftsmanship is still there. So you've got the technology in the guitar, but you've also still got this handshake that's being made between the technology and the craftsmanship. It's not just the electronics inside of it, it's not just the guitar, it's really the marriage of those two things together and their symbiotic relationship that creates the sonic stew.